So how's the guys right box here and welcome to another historic mode gameplay on Motor GP20. So this time we're going to be heading out for yet again another 90% difficulty challenge. I mean I'm carrying straight on after this and I'm going to regret this if Valentino Rossi, if he's still there, I'm going to buy him but I don't think I will. So to basically just to make it worth it. Let's go, Casey Stoner, the first Stoner we've got, 2011 Honda at Assen. Let's see how we get on. So then we are out on track consumption check. I'm going to put on a medium and a medium tyre. Fuel, let's overfuel the bike. I do absolutely love this track and to be honest, I think I have a bit of pace here. So I'm going to pull over again. We'll go from the back. Seven laps at Assen. Can we get the win this time? If we got the win, I could have bought that Valentino Rossi. So, lights are about to go out. I'm going to let most of the bikes through, I think, here. We're off to a fantastic start. I keep getting fantastic starts here, which is a bit annoying. But I'm going to lift and drop back to pretty much the back of the grid. And there we go, dropping into P17. Didn't quite drop into P18, but I don't want to lose too much time because, it's as we found out last time, it's still quite a bit of a challenge to come from the back on 90% difficulty and win. So, there's Valentino Rossi on that lovely camel Yamaha. Getting a bit out of shape. We're going to try and get underneath of him though. Power mode to control that anti wheelie if we can. And let's see if we can get through on Rossi and Bayless. Yes, up into P14 now. Pedrosa, Lorenzo next on the list. Whoa, who's that? Making moves on us for Davizioso, I think. Someone's gone down. Yep, Dovi's gone down. Lorenzo, Hayden, Pedrosa. There's so many good Honda riders. We're going to be riding this uh, very similar looking Repsol Honda quite a bit, I think. Let's see if we can clear Hayden. Caparossi next. Chuck it under him. To, uh, P11. On the outside of Pedrosa there. Now on the grass. Get me off the grass. And that gives us a time penalty apparently. Oh, we're getting a tight exit through there. But we managed to make it past a few bikes. Up into P9 now. Yukawa who was leading the previous race. Up his inside. We've got Roberts Jr. taking a look back at us. Let's see if we can clear him if possible now. So we're into P8. We're going to try and get underneath a burn if we can here. Massive wheelie. Bit of power mode too. Let's see if we can get Burn and Kato down this next straight. Got a bit of slipstream and here we go up the inside. Up into P5 and Gibbonels next. Control the bike. We've run wide and that allows Kato back through. But we get him back up the inside for the next corner. Gibbonel and Barros next them. On the brakes. I thought that bike was going to go on us then. It just looked like it. Underneath a Gibbonel. Up the inside. He's right there. Whoa! That looks pretty tight. That's going to be a cool screenshot. Look how low we are there. Right then, back to the action as we unpause it. Underneath a Gibbonel. Now we're onto the back of Barros. And whoever the leader is, they've cleared off. But then a good exit right out the final corner. It's Nakano that's running away with it. 34-3. We go slightly faster. And now we've just done just over half the race to go. The hunt is on for the Kawasaki man. Let's see if we can get a win. Simoncelli 34-1 from Simoncelli. Wow, that was a quick lap. That was faster than we won. About three tenths, I think it was. But we've got this two tenths for a time penalty thing to worry about. What positions in Simoncelli and will he catch up to us? Have we got the tyres to go to the end? I hope so. Biaggi's behind us. I think he's been following us through the pack. 2.3 off of uh, the Kawasaki up the road. I want to get this Kawasaki. Let's see if we can use some of that old stoner magic. The number 27 on this Repsol Honda. Biaggi's still there. 
trying to get a good run down this. I, I class this as the sort of the back straight, really. You just have a few corners you have to lift through, nail the apexes. 2.1 seconds off of the Kawasaki man. Break into the final corner quite heavy. Watch the rear doesn't go around on you. At the final corner, this should be a pretty good lap. What's this going to be? 33 7, Casey Stoner. 2.1, still the gap to the guy ahead. Let's see if we can actually close him down, shall we? I think I've gone over on my fuel a bit, so I'm going to start saving fuel. Oh, doing a bit of stoppy into there, that's not going to help us out. Yeah, I think I need to gain about another lap of fuel, so let's see if we can save some fuel down this straight. It's not going to help us out, it's still 2.1 seconds off the road. Will a win in this elude us? Last time we were pretty close. But weren't quite able to. 2.6 seconds of a lead over Biaggi now then. Gonna go Palmo 1 again. We're reeling it in. Come on. Bit of a pop from the exhaust. Into turn 12. 1.6 off. We've caught up a little bit to the Kawasaki man. Can we get him? The green... I don't know. It's a green bullet. <laughs> He's not running away with it. Absolutely pushing like mad just to try and keep with him. 33.8. Not another fast lap of the race, but he hasn't gone faster. Which is good, so we've closed him down a little bit. Here we go then, I think we've got a bit of extra fuel, so I'll just save it for the last lap in case we need it. You know what, actually no, we'll run a bit of power mode too. I wonder where Simoncelli is, because he put in that fastest lap of the race early on, didn't he? But he's nowhere to be seen, is it still Biagi behind? It's still Biagi behind, admittedly quite far behind. The right hand side of the rear tyre is starting to wear off a little bit. This uh, track is quite heavy on the right handers. Especially in the, uh, the hard braking zones. Can we get him? Not far off of him. I can now hear him and he's looking over his shoulder. He knows we're coming. Casey Stoner's coming. This bike uses up so much fuel in power mode too. I'm going to have to save fuel again. Let's see if we get a decent exit now. I've just realised I picked up half a second time penalty. When did I pick that up? <laughs> I know I had a time penalty of about two and a half tenths, but I didn't realise I got half a second. So we've got a bit of work to do if we actually want to win. How many in power mode 2? I almost need to clear him on this lap and then just bolt if I can. Bit of a wheelie out of there. Let's see if we can get him. Close him down through this next sector. Come on. Push it through those left handers while we've got the tyre life. Come on, I don't want to lose out again because we lost out on that Valentino Rossi by like 500 points. So, And coming across the line, we've got to get past him and then got to get past him a bit more. Squeeze him out a little bit. Oh, there's dirty tactics there. Now we've got a bolt. We've got to absolutely leg it. We've got half a second to gain on this lap. That is the challenge. Can we do it? Someone's down. Oh, it's not. It's not. Oh, I thought it was Nakano. That would have been so lucky if it was, though. 
see what the gap is now six tenths of a second come on if we just keep this gap going if we break it to 32s on this last lap that'd be absolutely fantastic pushing it through turn seven look at the gap we've pulled already eight tenths clear come on keep on building 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 we've picked up another penalty where are we getting these penalties from am i abusing track limits right now i must be the game thinks i am so we've just made our life harder It's all about the exit out of the final corner, really. What's the gap coming through the third sector any moment now? Come on, Stoner. Let's do it to get that Valentino Rossi if it's still available. Over a second is the gap now. This is brilliant stuff. Come on, power out of here. Smash the final corner. Oh, yeah, absolutely nailed it. Perfect. So we're going to go across the line. That's got to be that seven tenths of a second that's got to be it i think we ran out of fuel right at the end as well yeah look at that we beat him by a second nine thousand points <laughs> i didn't think we were going to get it i honestly didn't think we would get it nine thousand one hundred oh look at this 1999 creville repsol honda or oh, marco simoncelli it's got to be marco simoncelli Makes up for losing out on that 2004 Valentino Rossi. Got ourselves a bit of Marco. Sweet. So, there we go. That was the next intermediate challenge done. And uh, we got Marco Simoncelli. Yay. He'll be, he will be using in the next episode. But that's been it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this historic mode. It's been really fun. I'm really enjoying the four strokes one of some of my favorite bikes to ride on this game i really do enjoy them so uh, let me know what you guys think down below the classic bikes and uh, for now i'll see you guys in the next one